Alright, so I'm on, so I'm on. First and foremost, before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Kodash. Alright. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechak Kodash, Brakatham, and the water, the water Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for the spirit and truth. And as always, the bondage to my apostles, the head elders, the great millstone, we want to tell me this truth through the spirit, Brakatham. And as always, salutations to this accordion while I came across the four corners of the earth that's kicking its truth and sincerity, faith, and honesty. Inshallah, we'll have a dumb, we'll have a khari, inshallah, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. I'm not fellow servant, call me inshallah, back with another lesson. All right, and as you can see from the title of this lesson, all right, uh, the title was uh, Kalis, the, uh, the pagan Father's Day. I'm sorry, Kalis, the Father's Day God, all right, Father's Day, uh, Father's Day God, which is paganism. All right, and for all those that don't know what paganism is, paganism is basically uh, the worshiping of false idols, man. Idols they have no life, and these are the things that our forefathers have always done, which was their heart going astray from uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so these gods can continue to exist by uh, uh, spiritually having a uh, uh, a spiritual uh, um, having a spiritual uh, uh, possession over you, Jakes, because that is your Baal, that is your Lord, if you will, man. All right. So without further ado, I got the article here on uh, Kalis, all right, who's in, uh, in Roman mythology, all right, his name is uh, Kalis, and in Greek mythology is Uranus, all right, and that basically means when you go into the research, which I'm going to pull out an article, it basically means um, the father of the sky, all right, or the father of the upper air, or the father of the, uh, of the, god, of the, uh, the god of the sky, man, all right, so I said all that to say, when you Jake's out here worshiping this goddamn idol, all right, you're not worshiping, you're not going out and, and, and uh, doing these things, or you're not going out and, uh, you know, every all attention is you. know you're actually a, a sacrifice into these idols, man. You actually present your body as a sacrifice into these idols, man. All right? Okay, so without further ado, let's grab uh, first precept, Judges chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, and the people serve you, how about me, I was shy, right? That people being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of Yahweh Bashmi that had that he did for Israel. All right, verse 8. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Yahweh Bashmi died. All right, so Joshua died. Okay, passed away. All right, he went to the spirit world. It says, being 110 years old, and they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnah, Harris, in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gasha. A little human out here. All right, uh, verse 9 again, it says, And they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnah, Harris, in the Mount of Ephraim, on the north side of the hill Gasha. Gaash. Verse 10, the point is verse 11. Verse 10 says, and, all, and also all the generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them. So this is the point, because the generation that we read in verse 7, the generation that was in the time of Joshua, and the elders in that time, what, they worshipped Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and they knew him, man. And this goes all the way back to the time uh, when, we were leading, when we were getting out of uh, the land of uh, uh, Egypt, man. Okay? Because the scriptures say, before... Uh, Joseph became the ruler at that time when it was a great famine for I think seven years before all these acts became or came to be uh, 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 in existence there was a, a generation the scripture say a generation rules that did not know the Lord so those Israelites that rose in that time throughout that generation they didn't know the Lord and, and the Pharaoh too man the Pharaoh that rose in that time he didn't he didn't know he didn't know Joseph man all right the Pharaoh in that time, he, he didn't give a damn about Joseph. He didn't give a damn about the Israelites, man. Okay. So, verse 10, it says, And also all the generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation after them, which knew not Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And this is the point, verse 11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and served Balaam. All right. So the scripture say, our people did evil on the side of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua and served Balaam. When you go into that etymology of the word Balaam, Balaam is from the Strong's H 1168, which means a Lord, man. All right. I'm sorry. Strong's H 1160, which means Lord, man. All right. Husband or owner. All right. So our people 
that's when that's when they started the serving. This is in the book of Judges, man. So that's why scripture say the things that are written aforetime for our learning. So we know how you jigs operate by worshiping these false idols, all right, and going back into pag paganism, because you are the same generation that did not know the most high that's being here in this time where the prophets are here that's worshiping these false idols, man. And this is why we are condemning and breaking down the strongholds, man. The strongholds of what? That mental slavery, because it's not a physical slavery where it changes on us like in the uh, ancient world, but the changes on your mind, okay, from understanding this truth and being breaking loose, man, from worshiping these false idols, man, okay, which is paganism, man, all right? So I'm going to read this again. I'm going to branch off uh, to the next precept. Judges 2 and 11. And the, and the children of Israel, all right, which is be Yasha Ali, sons of the power, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we are the people of the Bible, man. Thus said the scriptures. All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay? And the reason why you don't know this is because you got demons hindering your spirit, man, from blocking you from getting this truth. And that's the Lord that's doing that, man. All right? That's your Hal Bashmi al is doing that. If you cannot receive this truth, then the Lord's... You better pray to Yahweh Bashmi al to take you out of the world. Because the scripture says in 1 John 2 and 17, Love not the world, neither that are in the world. For the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of, of the world, man. These are the traditions of men. And when you go into etymology or tr tradition, okay? Because like I said, the reason why I'm doing this video is for all you jakes out there that's going to come into the repentance, come into the understanding, but you're still going through your phases, all right, from waking up, okay? But you are worshiping... Uh, not only are you worshiping yourself, but you are worshiping uh, uh, false gods, man. All right? Gods that have no life, according to Wisdom of Solomon in the 15th chapter, man. You're you following the traditions of men. All right? So now, real quick, because the spirit taking off. Now, let's go into uh, the, the definition and the etymology of the word tradition. It says, from the late 14th century, state statement belief or practice... Hand it down from generation to generation. So you are worshiping, you are you are under the practices of the world, man. You see? Alright? And this is what's leading our people astray, causing them to err because what? They're worshiping the false idols, man. What's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai said, that's the first commandment, not to worship these other gods, man. Alright. Judges chapter 2, verse 11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and served Balaam. Alright. Now, from there, let's go to uh, the book of Hosea. Because like I said, the word Balaam, if you go into etymology, it means um, Lord, owner, or husband. Okay? So now, when you go into the history, because in the time of the northern kingdom, when, this, when the kingdom had split, all right, Jeroboam being a servant of King Solomon, all right, the head of the northern kingdom, all right, he did a lot of evil, man. All right, and that's why you, when you read the first Kings, or into the second Kings, man, Israel was going to hell off. All right, so now let's get this real quick. Salak the Akim. Grab me real quick right after Daniel's. Yep. Uh, this is Hosea chapter 2, um, verse 16, straight to the point. It says, And this shall be at that day, saith Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, that thou shalt call me a Shai. And thou shalt call me no more Baali. All right? And that word Ashai means my husband in the 1611, man. Okay? My husband, man. All right? Why? Because... Let's get this real quick. In Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 5. For thy maker is thine husband. Yeah, how about me, Ashai of hosts is his name. So the only father... All right, that you're supposed to be worshiping. Aleyah, my power, the only power that you're supposed to know, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American Indians, is Yahweh, by Shimi Yahweh Shai, in the name of his only begotten son, man. And this is why you have the prophets out here on the corners bringing you back into that understanding. Because for a long time, you have been going off, man. And even we all went off, man. But the Lord said in his wrath, he smote us, man. And the Lord told Jeremiah, he shall discontinue from his heritage, man. So though we discontinue, the Lord said in Baruch, the second chapter, in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Did not Apostle Paul say, I will bring, uh, uh, he said, stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. What are we remembering? We're remembering the old paths. The scripture say, as for the old paths, man. So we're going back into our ancient ways. Why? Because we are those same ancient spirits here on the planet Earth, man. Every man in their order. You see? So that's why we're casting down that stronghold of worshiping yourself, man, and worshiping uh, false idols 
okay? Let me finish this off real quick. Isaiah 54 and 5. For thy maker is thine husband, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer of the, ho the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth, shall he be called. Okay? So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our power, man. Okay, and he's the only power, the only father that you're supposed to be worshiping, not this goddamn uh, Greek mythology, uh, Uranus, which in uh, Roman, uh, Roman Catholicism, all right, or, Rome, or, or the Roman God, his, his Roman deity name, which be uh, uh, Calus, man, okay, which is a false idol, man, all right. Okay, so now I'm going to get the history real quick before I read this article in the book of 1 Kings, the 22nd chapter. On why Northern was going off in the time of Jeroboam because they were worshiping, uh, um, they was worshiping Baal, which Baal means Lord or owner or husband, which would be go all the way back into the the, uh, um, the Roman paganism. All right, okay, and who would and who would that be? That would be Baal would be what the sun god, man, which is go going back into the Babylonians, man. See the Greeks in the uh, the Greek mythology and the Roman uh, mythology that comes from the ancient Babylonians, man. In the time of the Mosiah, how about Messiah removing Abraham from the year of Chaldees, man? Why? Because in that time, going all the way back into the time of Nimrod, man. Nimrod today, uh, Nimrod today would be uh, what you would call Jehovah, or today would be Moloch, man. Okay? Going back into the times of, of all our captivities, he, he, he took on the name of Baal, Baal, okay? Osiris, okay? All right, and so forth and so on. And then what? This all go back to the, the the real trinity, if you will, goes back to Nimrod, Ishtar, and Tammuz, man. All right, Nimrod today would be Molak, Tom, uh, 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 Ishtar today would be uh, uh, the Statue of Liberty, okay, all right, which was the Virgin Mary, okay, all right, and then Tammuz would be who you worship today in his in uh, uh, the ancient world, okay, hey, uh, Tammuz, which would be what today, Jesus or Tesre Borgia, Hestos Christos or Jesus Christ, man, you see. That's the lineage for you. And this is all go this all go back to the Babylonian gods, man. All right? Nimrod, Ishtar, and Tammuz. That's the father, the son. Uh, that's the father, the mother, and the son, man. These are the ancient gods that the Babylonians worship, man. You see? But today they just taking on modern names. Why? Because we're because our people have for a long time been what? Under the mental slavery, man. Okay? This is why the Lord said he have likened us into a comely and delicate woman. That's why I brought out Isaiah 54 and four, uh, 5, man. Thy, thy maker is thy husband, okay? And in Hosea, the second chapter, it says, Thou shalt call me Asha, Asha, if I'm pronouncing that right in the Hebrew, which means husband, man. Okay? So now let's go into the history of the northern kingdom in the time of Jeroboam, man. All right? This is 1 Kings. Get right to the point, okay? Of why you shouldn't be worshiping. Uh, 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 celebrating Father's Day because matter of fact, that's the spirit. Let's get what Yahweh Shai said real quick in St. Mark. Okay? St. Mark chapter 7. St. Mark chapter 7 verse 7. And it reads, How be it in vain do they worship me? Okay? Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men for laying aside the commandments of Yahweh Shai, Shai, ye hold the traditions of men. And right, we just brought out what the etymology of the word tradition mean, which is what? Practices, man, based on belief. So what our, our people believe, what they trust in Egypt, man, which modern day Egypt will be, I can't tell you what that is, but spiritually Sodom and Egypt by Babylon the Great, okay? Uh, it says, ye hold the tradition of men in the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye, ye do, man. So our people to this day, what? They follow the same customs that our forefathers did, man, which was taking on the philosophies of men, all right? First, first Kings, all right? Matter of fact, through the Spirit, let's get what Apostle Paul said, man, real quick, since we're here in the New Testament, man, you know? All right? Give me one second through the spirit, you know, because our people, this is, this is why when you come out of that, that so-called religion, which is, means divide and conquer, when you come out of that spell, you start to see that you, you've been living a lie your whole life, man. Okay. Let's lock it. Oh, after Ephesians. Okay. Kind of, yep. yep. Col Colossians chapter two. Verse 8, it says, Beware lest any man spoil you 
through philosophies and vain deceit after the tradition of men. So Apostle Paul said the same thing Yahweh Shai said, man. Rather than cleaving unto the commandments of Yahweh Shai, Shai, our people cleave unto what? The traditions of men, which are what? The practices today. Which would be what? Today worshiping themselves, being a sacrifice unto the, uh, to the, uh, uh, to the Roman god, Calus, man. Which he's the Father's Day God, man. So really you think you out here celebrating uh, 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 celebrating because you're you a dad, which you've been a, uh, which a lot of our people are, uh, what, what they call you, man? Home, home beat, uh, uh, dead beat or whatever, man, you know? Which you don't even know what it is to raise your children. Because scripture say, train up a child in the way that he shall grow. You're supposed to train, train your children, children up away to the lost as commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. How can you know something that you have not? How can you learn except you had a preacher, man? The Romans, the 10th chapter, tell you that, man. You see? This is what you call being disciplined, man. But our people, what? They are a, a stubborn people, man. A stiff neck and hard headed and rebellious nation, man. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shai told Moses that. When he shall fall asleep with his fathers, these, this nation shall raise up and go on whoring at the other gods. And that's why Hosea, uh, uh, the second chapter in the beginning, it says, you shall be children of whoredoms, man. So we what? We are a nation, all right? A nation of, of rebellious people, man. A nation of, 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 of whores, man. Okay? Because what does a woman, what is a whore? A woman, what? She, she leave her husband, all right, and commit adultery. Are not we the first adult, uh, uh, adulterers, man? Why? By leaving our, first, our, our father, our, our husband, you see, our maker, all right? Colossians 2 and 8, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, practices of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach, man. Which is what? The fruit of the spirits, the truth, the understanding of the scriptures, man. The holy days, man. The feast days, not holy days, not folly days, but holy days, man, all right? The, the, the truth, man. Okay. So now let's go into the history. Get out of here because I don't want to make this too long. Close out on this article. All right. This is 1 Kings chapter 22. Get right to the point. 1 Kings 22, verse 52. And he did evil. And this, he, this evil is talking about uh, King Je Jehoshaphat at that time. It says, And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and walked in the ways of his father and in the way of his mother. This is the point. And in the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. How? Verse, four, verse 53. For he served Baal, okay, Lord, owner, okay, husband, all right, see? And what? He was he was the head over the northern, uh, uh, northern kingdom in this time, man. Okay? When you read the records of the kings, it say, uh, the Lord said, he constantly said they did evil in the sight of the Lord and went off and sinned more than Jeroboam or this king might have had. He did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh Shemiah of Shai. And it was only few, it was few men that did actually the right thing in the eyes of Yahweh Shemiah of Shai compared to the men that did evil in the sight of the Lord, man. Okay? All throughout the book of Judges, man. Even in the time of Samuel, in the time of King David, man. Our people constantly went off, man. Even King David himself, man. King Solomon. That's why we need Yahweh Shai. We got to get out of this flesh, man. All right? Because idolatry is all, is all around you, man. The scripture said, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, thou shalt serve wood and stone. Okay? That's a curse, man. All right? 1 Kings chapter uh, 22, verse 53. For he served but all and worshiped him and provoked to anger Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the power of Israel, according unto all that his father had done, man. All right? So that's the history on that. So matter of fact. I'm going to go ahead and read this pre one precept through the spirit that came to my mind. And I'm going to read this article through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. This is Psalms chapter 96 verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh Shai Shai made the heavens, man. All right? So, like I said, you celebrating Father's Day, you're actually celebrating the false god, the false idol, Kalis, who's what? The, father's, uh, uh, the father of the sky. Okay, which is a representative of the Heavenly Father, which his wife was the name, uh, Deus, all right, which she was the goddess of the earth, all right, which this is all Roman Catholicism, uh, uh, Roman mythology, man, okay, and then what, going into the Greek mythology, because they're the same Edomites, man, the Greek mythology, his name was Uranus, man, which was the goddess, the, the god of the upper air, man, you see, so you think you're celebrating, because you think you're celebrating a day to, to, to remember you taking care of your kids, but you're not, man. You're sacrificing unto false gods, man. You're doing abominable things. You're breaking the first commandment, the greatest commandment of all commandments, man. 
the commandment don't they don't need all the rest of the commandments, man. The greatest commandment was his what to serve you about me outside, and also I have no other gods before him, man. Because all the gods of the earth are idols, man. All right. So now let's go into this uh, article, and it's from the website um, Chronicles of NCCI.wordpress.com. It says Father's Day, like Mother's Day, not just a happy day for parents. All right, why? Because going into the history, it says during earlier times, Father's Day was known by the name of Great Sky Father, slot of the Great Sky Father's Day. So Father's Day was originally called Great Father's. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it was originally called Great Sky Father's Day, man. Okay. Celebrating Father's Day, giving honor to the pagan sky god Kalis. Jupiter also in the summon sol solstice, man. Going back into these witches and these warlocks, man, these sorcerers, man. Okay. All right. It says, even the modern practice, all right, modern practice, traditions of men. That go that word practice again. Okay. It says, even the modern practice, so the modern traditions of men. It says of giving fathers neckties as a pre as a present on this day, which would be what today Sunday. It says is connected with Father's Day original pa pagan rituals, man. So you celebrating paganism, man. All right, idols that have no 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 tongue, man. Idols that have a tongue but can't speak, if you will. Idols that have feet, but the scripture said was Masala fifteen that are slow to go. Why? Because they can't move, man. All right. Gods that are no gods, man. They are idols, man. Idolatry. So when you really celebrate in Father's Day, you 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 commit an idolatry, man. Okay, which is spiritual adul uh, adultery, man. Fornication, man. Going off, cause what you are the temple of the Lord, man. All right. It says, during Roman and Grecian times, animals ready to be sacrificed were recognized. So. Animals being ready to be sacrificed. You are that creature, all right, that's being ready to be sacrificed. That's where this is coming coming back from, man. All right, this is the, orig the origin of, uh, of, of Father's Day, which was what? Sky Father's Day, man, okay? And who was that? Calus, man, a Roman god, okay? And also the Greek god Uranus, man. That's why it says, it says, during Roman and Grecian times, animals ready to be sacrificed were recognized by the ties of ribbons that were placed around the necks of this day. It says today, so this is the point. Today, which is what? Sunday, Father's Day, right? So it says today is dads who are being offered up as sacrifices to the great sky father God through gifts of the necktie, all right? So you're being a sacrifice, man. This is two thirds. This is what two thirds of our people is doing. The script say, "Be uh, uh script say, worship not the uh, uh I forgot how it go roughly to say Jeremiah the ten chapter, man. For the heathens are dismayed. Okay. These heathens have uh, gods that they were uh, given worship, man. But what your power is the living power. You how about me? I was shy. That created the heavens, man. All right. That made us lively stones, man. The living power, man. You Jakes have an inch time, but you ain't gonna get answers, man. Cause brothers like me, my in the time of J worldwide acceptance of pagan holidays does not change the commandments given to us by the Most High. And it, and it quoted Exodus twenty and three: "Thou shalt have no other gods before me." Father's Day, Father's Day gods, along with Mother's Day goddess, still count as putting other gods before your yeah, Howa Bar Shimi Howa Shai. And that's the point, man. All right. Last precept I'm going to close out on in the book of 1 John. I quoted it earlier through the Spirit. The Spirit actually had me write this down too. Uh, the book of 1 John. All right, 1 John chapter 2 verse, I'm going to start verse 15. Love not the world, right? Worldwide traditions, worldwide practices, worldwide events, being in the world, worldly lust, okay? Lust of the flesh, man, all right? Being a part of society, man. Okay. Scripture say ye uh, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Who is he talking about? The elect, the Israel of the Most High, the sanctified ones, man. Okay, the one third, the one hundred and forty-four thousand, the government. You know. So it reads, 
love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, have any affections or ties to this place, it says, or the conditions of this place, the traditions and the practices of this place, Babylon, the great spiritual Sodom in Egypt, okay? The abominable acts, the worshiping of idols, idolatry and adultery, man. You see, spiritual fornication, all right? It says, the love of the father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, all right, but it's of the world. The only Father you're supposed to be worshiping is, is Abba Nawa, Allah Hayyanawa, Yahweh Bashimi Shai, our Father, our power, Yahweh Bashimi Shai, the power of Israel, the power of Jacob, man, the power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, all right? This is the point, verse 17. And the world passeth away, right? So, Babylon the Great, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, is going to be destroyed, man. Passing away. This heaven, this condition in this earth, the condition of the earth shall pass away. Right along with the philosophies and the traditions of men, man. And the doctrines of men. But the words of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who was the word of the Heavenly Father, shall uh, uh, live forever, endure forever, man. All right? It says, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof... But he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai abideth forever, man. All right. So if you come out of the come out of this world and come out of the traditions of men and put on that new garment, put on that spiritual garment, which is the laws, that's commandments of the Heavenly Father, and ultimately the laws and statutes and commandments that Yahweh Shai gave us, man. Because the Yahweh Shai commanded us to do things, man. All right. He said, present your body as a living sacrifice by the mouth of Apostle Paul. He said, go out and uh, uh, not into the way of Samaritans, not into the way of Gentiles. Go preach unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, bid as many in into the marriage, you know, so forth and so on, man. All right. So when you come out of this world, you doing the will of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. Okay. Going out there to the corners, doing the work. All right. Telling Jake about themselves in your everyday life. Because this ain't just a, a going out to camp thing. This is an everyday, uh, everyday thing, man. All right, 24-7 Hebrew Israelite, man. Not an on-camera Hebrew Israelite, you know? So like I said, through the Spirit, Lord's will, this is edifying to the elect. All right, and shalom so to the Akim Salaki, if you brothers is on the comment board or not. But Lord's will, this was edifying to the elect of Israel. All right, and I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, and the water, the water, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Spirit of Truth. As always, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone. We're all talking this truth through the Spirit, by the thumb. And as always, salutations to the Sequanian and Wa'akim across the four corners of the earth that's teaching this truth in sincerity, faith, and honesty. Shalom, Wa'abatham, Wa'abacharim, Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom.